Now, now, as you might tell, I might know something about trucks, mechanics. I own end ups and I speak for junkies and ex-cons and veterans and police officers and Americans and get this truckers and mechanics and blue collar people that work with their hands. Hallelujah. And you ask, I want you, I'm not asking you to boycott Harbor Freight, but I want you to just show them this video. Because see, I have been recording in front of Harbor Freight many, many times throughout my history, my career of speaking. At the same time in the same location. And I was out there making a video about how I was gonna spend money at Harbor Freight to benefit the people of North Carolina when they called the law on me. And so the police come, we do all that, and you can watch the video. Those people are nowhere around me. They picked, they picked the fight with me, okay? They didn't like the way I looked, right? And they don't like my money. And guess what? If you're an American, they don't like yours neither. Because there's nothing more American than helping more fucking Americans. Hallelujah. Praise fucking Jesus. But <clears throat> if you will, just show them this video. Is this how you treat a customer that's helping other Americans? That spent thousands of dollars with you? For sure. We deserve better than that. I'll go buy Gearworks tools, Matco. I'll shop at Costco. I'll go to stores that my buddy Kenny builds with Southeast Industry Construction before I walk into another fucking Harbor Freight. Foot fucking English. Who's the store manager? Eric who? I'm sorry, I can't hear you. I am a paying customer. I, I shop here. There's no name on that. I understand that, but y'all had the time to call the police on me when I was filming a video about to spend $10,000 here. And, and listen, it, it's on video. Y'all, you know, I have to about document this because y'all are some police calling people. All right. And I'm a customer and I would like to talk to the corporate office and believe me, I'm not no lightweight person. I speak to hundreds of thousands of people. But what y'all did was out outrageous. Y'all were way over there. You you can do whatever you want to. I'm not I'm not doing nothing involved with you. Okay? Okay. See ya. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Oh. Hey. hey. <laughs> this is why they called the police on me. Security lighting, uh, generators, 10 mile radios with repeaters. We're short a few saws. We're short one generator. We need a cook stove. Porta potties, we have porta potties. Uh, heaters for each tent with flutes. Uh, this is a nice setup for people that want to come and give back to their country and their community. A little bit about Bakersville. It's a rebel camp. A whole bunch of hardworking, God-fearing Americans, right? That didn't told So as you can see, there is the conclusion of all that. The video that they called the police on, me and the police officer, who was a great dude, and we work out together, and uh, at Pulse and Hot Springs and Benton, and uh, the damage and the clerk's response. That's how they treat their people that want to spend money and help other Americans. So if you will, just show this to them. Hey, send them to the store manager, share, post it, do whatever you want to do, blow it up for me, please. I don't ask for much, but we, the people will be heard. God bless you. And the people in North Carolina will near North Carolina, Western North Carolina, the motherfuckers I love in Arkansas and from Oregon to fucking Florida, we will be fucking heard too. Bet your ass on that. Fluid English.